I am so tired of everything. I'm tired. I have a theater degree. I have a master's in performing arts management. In 2005, I beat breast cancer. In 2008, I show up to set to be told I'm on a list by Disney at Grey's Anatomy on a Monday morning. I would worked for five years on sets and earned my SAG card. To the FBI and law enforcement, do you comprehend the fact that I'm a legitimate member of SAG after, even though I'm not in People Magazine? They're all, acting is a First Amendment right. I have the right to freedom of expression. I am never going to stop saying I'm an actor, never going to want to give up being an actor, never want to dream about having a regular job and a man in my life who isn't into acting. I will hate men who come into my life who say I can't be an actor. I will never love them. I was mentally healthy and happy in 2007 working on sets. It was the first time in my life where I actually felt good about being alive. First time in my life where I actually loved, saw a future that I would actually want to fight for. I don't see a future now that I want to fight for without acting. Because if there is no acting, there is no future I want, period. And no amount of therapy, no amount of trying to make me go to the police and talk to them. We live in a police state now, right? The FBI will not talk to me. They want me to deal with the state because the state of California just passed a law saying I'm required to have mental care if I go see the police. I have an autoimmune disease. I have a yeast allergy. None of that is going to change, and I am never going to care about being a subservient slave to an employer who has money to pay me to do shit for them. The only reason I was happy, I mean, I'm Phi Beta Kappa and Mensa, but I need to have someone policing my life like a therapist. This is what it feels like to me. Therapy isn't me getting help. Therapy is me being policed by the government. Therapy is me being policed by... My ex-roommate, Lisa Joy, was a social worker who knew I spent more time in college at the theater than any place else on the campus. I am good at acting. I am very good at acting. But I am not good at be wanting to... I am not good at being a liar. I don't lie. And I am tired of not being listened to. I am tired of being disrespected. I have zero respect now for the FBI, zero respect for law enforcement. I can't go to local police because I'm not going to feel safe because a guy who sexually molested me got to build a family and build a life, which by the way, the woman who's in charge of suicide for the army went to the same sorority as Jeremy Gilbert's wife who molested me. So for whatever reason, you, the FBI, will not listen to me about possible Discrimination, which, by the way, is a federal crime. Discriminating against someone because of a protected class is a crime. And you, the federal government, have never done a damn thing to stop Hollywood from abusing women, objectifying women. You don't care. Unless I'm blonde, sexy, blue-eyed, and beautiful. Unless I look like Roseanne Arquette. If I was Roseanne Arquette, you would, you would answer the call. Because I'm Laura Ann Tull, Phi Beta Kappa Mensa theater major from McDaniel College, who almost had an interview at Yale for, who did have an interview at Yale for theater admin, who is one of the smartest kids in Maryland. You will not listen to me and you've destroyed my credibility because of my daddy. My narcissistic, abusive moron of a father who says he owns me, therefore I'm required to be a wasp, I'm required to be GOP, and I'm required to go get the, take a job with the most money because it's the money that's supposed to make me happy. My father who believes in Reaganomics and trickle-down theory when I know for a fact that the rich get richer in America and the poor get poorer and you, the law enforcers of this country, only care about the 1%. I'm going to spend the rest of my life feeling Jeremy Gilbreth shoving his finger up inside my vagina and knowing you didn't care. Having Jason Winston George tell me I'm not attractive enough to be on camera, but that he could believe in God and shove it up people's asses. You respect men than you will ever respect women, and it makes me sick. And I am sick and tired of my neighbors because I want to be out of this stupid building that I live in because I do not have friends in this building because I do not like people who want to control my life or put me down. One of my neighbors hit on me. He's a doctor, medical field, and I'm betting he loves Grey's Anatomy. 
Do you understand that? Shonda Rhimes puts my phone number up for public discourse. Oh, and I know someone's going to contact me. You need therapy, Laura. You're full of anger. The anger is never going to go away until I can walk back into the SAG building with my head up and they give me restitution for 10 years of preventing me from being an actor when it's the only reason I came to California. I want the value of 10 years of acting classes I wasn't allowed to take at AFI, workshops I wasn't allowed to take, opportunities because Jason Winston George decided I couldn't be a lawyer when I was. Jason Winston George, who went to the University of Virginia and was apparently a friend with a judge in Virginia, my uncle, my uncle, I sent an email to a lot of politicians back in Virginia to basically say F you because my uncle sent me a nasty joke about women in California and boob jobs and I was like, excuse me, Uncle Charles, I had a boob job because I had a mastectomy. Politics wins, right? Whoever pulls the strings at the FBI, congratulations. I'm going to know the rest of my life where I'm never going to get justice for what happened to me. And I am never going to trust the legal system. I am never going to want to walk into a law office again. I am never going to want to wear a suit and tie and be in a fucking office again for the rest of my life. Because I was happy and you took my happiness away from you, me. And you'll just say I was mentally ill. When I have gigabytes of proof that you won't even look at. This hard drive, all the scans, Twitter, all the emails from Lee Ryder and Cassandra, all the filings, or most of them, that I made with the federal government, state, all of it. Who wants it? Who in law enforcement will actually dare to look at this stuff and figure out who was attacking me for five years, who was threatening my life? Or was it someone with the FBI? Because you figured out Laura didn't have a future as an actor anyway. She's not blonde, sexy, and beautiful. And now that we've made sure she couldn't get medical care for years because we denied her the possibility of being able to work in the industry she wanted to work in. I told my parents when I had cancer that if I couldn't work in the sets and entertainment, I wouldn't care about making money. You want to talk about integrity? I will never work unless I'm allowed to know I can have a future as an actor. I will never care about making money unless I'm allowed to be an actor. I will never give a flying fuck about doing a good thing for an employer. I'm not going to care about making you happy so I can get money from you when you can't make me happy by giving me what I want, which might have life back in the entertainment industry. I do not like people who want me to give up being an actor. I do not like people who want me to be a regular, normal person with a normal brain because I'm not normal. I was a straight A student in school and you want me to be average. Fuck you, FBI. Fuck you, DOJ in California. I am not gonna go to the state police. I do not trust them and I do not, guess what? I have an autoimmune disease and a yeast allergy. No one can institutionalize me without risking my life and health and well-being unless you, that institution wants to have a private chef make me meals catered to my diet and I'm a vegan. I do not like, anything unless it's sprouted, I can't. My digestive system shuts down, I get diarrhea, and I want to throw up. Maybe if you'd pay, maybe if you met me today, maybe if you'd actually taken this and looked at my metal records, you would know I have a case. But then I don't matter because I didn't have children, and I don't matter because I don't look like I walked out of a Beverly Hills salon. I went to law school and I'm disgusted with my law school. Jimmy Moye knew me. But he can make the right phone calls, right? Since he's with the Banking Association of America and by the FBI. 